A woman whose nose was bitten off in a fight has been jailed for threatening to stab an Uber driver with a dirty syringe. Louise Dean jumped into Mr. Mohamed Dara's private hire vehicle in December 2019 and made stabbing motions with a needle towards his neck before demanding he hand over his takings. Dean had her nose bitten off in a row over a missing credit card in 2021. She chased Mr. Dara around the vehicle which was in the Walkden area of Greater Manchester before she fled with his watch and £30 in cash. When she got gripped, Dean told a pack of lies claiming she approached him in an attempt to retrieve some cash she was owed for a sexual liaison but this was later proven to be a lie as police found no trace of contact with the victim on her phone. The innocent taxi driver has since given up his job and is undergoing therapy for depression due to being haunted by the raid and the sexual smears against him. At Manchester Crown Court, Dean of Salford admitted robbery and was jailed for three years and nine months. The incident occurred on the 1st of December 2019 as Mr Dara was finishing a seven-hour shift. The prosecutor said he was about to collect his final fare when he noticed the defendant's car park up behind his in the street and then he saw her get out and walk towards him. She opened the door and she got in the victim's stationary vehicle despite his protests that he'd already had a pre-arranged booking and that she had to get out. Once in the car she pulled a syringe and started making stabbing motions towards the victim. The victim noticed that the syringe had a metal tip and was very very dirty. She threatened to stab him if he did not pay her money. The victim managed to get out of his vehicle and initially she remained inside looking for his earnings but she then stepped outside the car and started to chase him around his own car. The victim is believed to have suffered from restricted mobility due to his asthma and hip replacement so he was quickly caught up by the defendant. During the chase the victim's watch came loose and dropped to the floor and it was quickly taken by the defendant. She then started to threaten him again with the syringe and asked for money and the victim basically gave her £30 from her wallet saying that that's all he had and the defendant then took it and ran off. Police were called to the scene and found Dean's saliva on a tissue left there by Mr Dara. The prosecutor added in an interview she claimed that the victim was no stranger to her and in fact had paid her for sex a number of times in the months prior. She said that she approached the victim to try and retrieve some non-paid fees she was owed from one of their prior engagements. However, this was later proved to be a complete lie as police found no trace of contact with the victim on her phone. The victim has given up work immediately and he said that he can't do it no more. He's suffering from depression. And in mitigation, her defence said in 2021, Ms Dean was subject to a brutal attack by another woman who bit off her nose and was left with a permanent facial disfigurement. Her family situation collapsed, they don't want to know her and this means that she lives in various hostels and temporary accommodation. She is currently taking medication for depression and has anxiety. The sentencing judge said, You may express remorse now, but in your police interview, you told a shocking, disgraceful pack of lies designed to further demean your victim. Woman that bit her nose was Claire Bold and last year she was jailed for six years for biting off Ms Dean's nose. So with regards to that incident, Claire Bold carried out the brutal assaults after the pair became embroiled in an argument. Both had caused minor injuries to each other during the brawl, but Furious Bold believed that the woman had taken a credit card and pursued her to a friend's house. The two women then started fighting again, at which point the 38-year-old sunk her teeth into the victim's nose. Bold then ripped off the end of the woman's nose before spitting it out onto the ground. It's believed that the victim was left in excruciating pain and bleeding heavily from the wound. A weeks after that attack, Bold left another woman permanently scarred for striking her in the face with a handheld mirror. So guys, this is a new story coming from the Northwest. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.